National First Ladies Library and Historic Site in Canton, Ohio. And if you remember, a few weeks ago, we were working to create planters for herbs and we use recycled uh, bottles and all my herbs are starting to grow. In fact, I have a lot of cilantro here. You can see a cilantro growing like crazy. And my basil plant is huge. So I thought this would be a good opportunity for us to talk about foods that we grow in our garden that we can make into a recipe. And if you are like me, you may have a green thumb and you maybe have been growing some things yourself. This is from a new picture book called Grandma's Gardens. It's actually by Hillary Clinton, the former first lady, and her daughter Chelsea. And they talk about the multiple generations of women in their family who loved gardens. So here's a picture of Chelsea and Hillary with Grandma Dorothy gardening, and it says gardens give us food. So today, we are gonna make our own recipe, and you can make a recipe yourself. In fact, Michelle Obama, when she was first lady, had a program called Let's Move that got kids eating healthy and growing their own fruits and vegetables, and she had this special event called the Kids State Dinner at the White House. And if you've heard of a state dinner, you know they're pretty fancy affairs. And so this was a fancy affair. What she would do was solicit recipes from kids in all of the 50 states and then publish their recipes into a cookbook and invite them to the White House. So I have some really cool images here of how super fun it was to go to the White House and have this red carpet experience. Here's a kid walking through the White House, getting their photo taken and having your recipe made and eaten on White House China. How cool would that be? So these recipes, all of them for the years that she was in office, they're actually still online. So we'll link to them so you can go through them and you can choose any recipe you'd like to make or you could be inspired to make your own. So there are a few recipes in there that are pesto recipes. And pesto is a really fun way to use basil. So we're gonna use pesto um, and mix it with a really fun pasta here. I have pasta in all sorts of cool kid-friendly shapes. So how do you make pesto? Well, today we're gonna start with two cups of our basil. So two cups of fresh basil leaves are gonna go in my little mixer. So just like any recipe or cooking experience, you wanna engage with an adult as you do this. So I've got a really tiny mixer. It's got kind of a sharp blade, so I'm gonna be careful. And I'm gonna slowly mix in all of my ingredients. So I've got my basil leaves. I've got pine nuts. So here is a third cup of pine nuts. We're gonna add that. Um, if you're allergic to nuts, there are all sorts of alternatives and things you can use. So that's not a necessity. If you need to substitute something else, that's fine. A half cup of freshly grated Parmesan. So I've got my Parmesan cheese going in here. And I had a really fun time grating my cheese. So that's a fun activity. Cooking can be really cool and fun. And after I do that, I'm going to add some garlic. And this is what garlic looks like. Uh, you can get it at any supermarket or you can grow it in the ground. And I'm gonna use my garlic press to squeeze it really hard and squish it in right in there. So I've got my garlic and then I am gonna add half a cup of EVOO, extra virgin olive oil here. And then you'll add salt and pepper to taste. So this is when it's really fun to cook because you get to taste everything. You get to taste test and see what you like and what you wanna put in. So I'm gonna put just a tiny pinch of salt and a pinch of pepper as well. Here we go, we're gonna add some pepper. And it looks like we've got everything on our ingredients list here. 
So we are going to, and again, you might want to slowly add more olive oil as we're doing that. So we added ours here, but as it mixes, just like if you were making a smoothie or something, you want to make sure that you have a parent or somebody who's an adult to help you, and then we'll keep adding our olive oil. So get ready for some noise.